Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say, it's in the arch of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breasts, the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Welcome, you guys, back to Like Water for Chocolate. We are so excited to be back. Our season two wrapped up in November, around the holidays, Thanksgiving, but we are back right before the new year. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, Lex Love is here with me, and that's your girl, Truth. Yo. And we today are just going to recap our amazing 2017. So, um, first, Lex, how have you been? Gosh, I don't get to see my friend anymore. I know. (laughs) Between family and work and all that crap, yeah, it's really hard. Um, Good. I'm really good. I'm getting into the groove of things. Excited for uh, 2018 with um, Beat and our show and everything. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to all the new stuff. Well, your makeup looks pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she made me wish that I beat my face. I didn't even know we were going to go live. So y'all just appreciate my cocoa butter lips, lip gloss. Okay? I like it. I like it. Because that's what is going on. But <laughs> y'all know me. Super busy. But um, end of 2017, awesome. I wanted to end my year the way I want my new year to go. So I don't want to oh, yeah. wait to the new year. By new year, new me. Oh, yeah. No. It's new year, better me. I said that on my little live thing. So... Everything I accomplished in 2017, I want to, like, amplify that. I Uh want to make it, like, 10 times greater than what it was. 20 times if I can. But still got to balance out the family life and the regular plantation life. (laughs) For now. For now. I'm I'm really working on some great things. And I do believe I'll be able to leave the plantation really soon. That's good. That's So, yeah. I think that's what we all strive for. Because so, I'm getting to that point where it's like that peak where right. you know that it's this is it. Like, yeah, you're, oh, I'm feeling man. it. Every day it's that there. I come in, I'm like, oh, my God, it's another day here. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it used that's to be exciting. Like, uh, it was cool. And then all these, I don't know. I'm just over it now. Oh, no. I feel you. Yeah. I completely, true. Trust me. I feel you. It's crazy. But that just makes me go so much harder. harder. You guys, I am eating. I haven't eaten today. Don't judge me. <laughs> but um, <laughs> all I needed was my coffee. That's my, my, and see, I wanted coffee. Stuff. But the Starbucks I happened to drive past, uh-huh. the line was long yeah. as hell. Mm. And I was like, well, maybe I should wait because maybe somebody will pay it forward since it's a new year. But then I thought about it and I'm like, nah, it's rent time. Ain't nobody finna put nah, my coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. After Christmas, <laughs> rent time, that's, that's the worst time. Exactly. Right. But um, as far as for with, 2017 what were some of your highlights my highlights um of course having baby girl azalea um with her cute self she's so funny oh her personality is popping she looks so much like you does she she looks so much but she looks a lot like paris too oh my my gosh she looks like your brother (laughs) she looks so much like your brother but you guys both look like your mom so I guess it all goes okay. back to Julia. They all look like your mom. I guess you're right. She, oh man, she she wishes she was here. I'm sure. She especially a, seeing those cute pictures. Yeah, she sees the pictures and she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, I know. She'll be six months next uh, next month. That happens so fast. Mm-hmm. And Samay will be seven. Oh my God. <laughs> and it's that's just crazy because I remember when she first came out, this little uh, bitty yeah. thing with all this hair. Little butterball. And she didn't want to talk to nobody. No. She didn't want to look at nobody. Don't even look now at Now she want to talk to everybody. Be on everybody's social media. YouTube. She wants Snapchat. Instagram now. <laughs> Get out of here. She's so different from you. That's so crazy. I she know. is like for real your opposite. I know. So it's going to be interesting to see where Azalea <clears throat> lands. Because her dad she's gonna is such act a like bubble her, too. She's going to act like her sister. She so? doesn't, she's not going to have a choice. Yeah. Because they're going to have to fight Samay for attention. Samay already be Snapchatting. I <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what is Samay doing putting the baby on here? She was lifting her arms. This is little baby Azalea. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's it's super cute. Thing. Your kids are awesome. Thanks. What about your kids? What's going on with the kids? Oh, Lord. Mm. So, Nemo. Mm-hmm. Nemo's special. He's put together perfectly as far as for when you look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> so cute but the guy's a jerk Yay. yes i'm allowed to call my kid a jerk mm-hmm. he's a jerk he's so rude I'll to me sometimes but I, he could be so sweet also yeah um he'll be five next year so yeah he's already wearing like seven year old clothes he's size seven he's huge he's really oh big. i know he's tall as hell ani will be in high school next year oh my god she's still playing basketball That's good. um what which high is, is she going to we don't know yet. Okay. She um, applied to go to um, LVA. Uh-huh. Also, um, I think Rancho 
has a magnet they program. Yeah. And then I think the other one is, I think it's called West Tech. I, I don't know. Don't quote that, me. Is that a new school? Yeah, or? it's new. Oh, okay. I wanted to go to LVA because yeah, the girl loves to sing. The creatives are and at she, LVA. Yes, and she's a creative. And mm-hmm. so I, and she's like, but I don't want to stop basketball. Well, the good thing about LVA is you can still play basketball. Yeah. You just got to manage your time. Sure. So. She sees we mom doing see. it. She can do it. <clears throat> I know. Exactly. And that's what I told her. I said, you're just going to, you're really going to have to manage your time. It's yeah. like you're going to become dedicate. an adult. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to make sure you balance your singing because you're going to get to spend like two hours in your choir class if that's what you decide to do. That's cool. And then the rest is, you know, all of everything else. But grades are important there. Yeah. So you're going to have to master that along with your sports. And I, I know she can do it. She can. Yeah. It's just, it'll give her time for no boys. There you go. <laughs> no time for boys. There you go. She got her first little guy, asked her out this year. Well, <gasps> asked Brandon first. Oh, you know, what? Coach Taylor at the school. He they was like, that? Coach. <laughs> he did. He was like, Coach, I really like your daughter. But I wanted to ask you first if I could date her. Oh, my God. And stop. Brandon was like, you know, I pr- I respect and appreciate the fact that you came to me. He was like, but nah, bro. No. She can't date. Time yet. No, <laughs> she can't date. So, yeah. Um, no dating for Gianni. But so I thought cute. it was really cute. That um, he came up to yeah, Brandon and asked. That was actually really dope. Yeah, I'm like, but no boys. I'm like low key, like wait, uh, five years. And he's so handsome, Come little back. cute self. He is so <laughs> handsome. Yeah. And his mom um, knows my mom, which is crazy. Uh-huh. She um, goes to school where my mom works. So, yeah, cute little boy, little Carlos. Oh, Carlos. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yep, little Carlos. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Never mind. Go. <laughs> but I guess my highlight would be. Um, I guess it would just have to be the person that I am developing into. I guess so. I guess it's not just one moment. It's just this whole year. Yeah. Like I was for real on like go. Yeah. All year. Uh huh. And so when I reflect back now, right, and I'm looking at where I was at the beginning of the year, which I was just starting Evolution. I, my one year anniversary is today, mm, and nice. I just started Evolution Travel last year. And I, like, had no idea what to do, what I was going to do, how big it was going to get. Right. And now here I am. Mm -hmm. My organization has, like, almost 100 agents. Jeez. Um, Me and Casey have teamed up. We started another podcast. Like Water for Chocolate is still booming. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been been good. It was a good year. That's That's all I can say. It's been a great year. Bedroom Candy has been a success. Yeah. And I started that at the end of this year. Right. So, yeah, it's been good. Nice. Next year, y'all just watch out for, you know, truth is... And Lex is going to have a blog. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> so y'all just, that's, you know. That's coming. Watch January. out for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with with you saying that, I love it because you couldn't identify just one moment. Mm-hmm. It means that you enjoyed the entire process. I did. Which is the, good the most the important part. You know, is stopping and actually enjoying the time that you're putting into it. Cause I think that's what everybody forgets. And I can't remember who said it. It was somebody like Jay-Z or somebody that said, it, you know, the motivation shouldn't be like the money or the whatever, whatever mm-hmm. you got to, the motivation is the grind that you put in and the rest Absolutely. just comes. So that's good. And grinding, man, like seriously, people, it's true. Faith without works is dead. Like I'm looking into the camera on this one. Faith without <laughs> works is dead. Mm-hmm. You can want to do something, you can dream it all you want. You can pray it all you want. But if you don't do something yeah. to activate that plan, right. you can't be mad at nobody but yourself. This is true. And you know what? It's 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 so small like of a of a you just got to do it. Mm-hmm. You have to. That, that's the hardest part is just even like stepping out and getting it done. There's so many avenues to take now. Like things happen so I, I don't want to say easily, but everything is is accessible. It is. It truly is. It's so, like, right at you, your fingertips. Right. So like with with the internet and with social media and, and YouTube and all these different things, like you can start whatever you need to start. Not even necessarily saying that you have to do what we're doing or like, you know, podcasting or or entertainment. You know, you can if, if you want to start some other type of business or cook or, you know, make jewelry. I'm just. Yeah. You know, social media of people that yeah, work that makes it know. easy for you. Yeah. Just all you got to do is start your product and start a Facebook page and put it out there. And tell people about it. Yeah, that's it. You'd be share, surprised share, share. how many people are looking for the gift you have. Yeah. Like you would be surprised. Right. Right. I see all these girls making um, 
vanities. Mm-hmm. And we, they're we've beautiful. all dreamed of having a vanity the perfect when vanity. we were little. Yep. <laughs> I see a vanity, I'm, I might snag it up. Like as soon as I figure out where I can put it in my house. Like seriously, like any anything you can you can dream of, you can you can put into effect. Just like I saw, um, there was somebody on my timeline who was making like crochet. Um, sleeping bags mm. so like we all have sleeping bags but some people don't like that material some people yeah, like know, that warm wool feel sure so she was making full like six feet tall crochet sleeping bags yeah and she posted one picture she i think from that one picture got like 50 people orders wanted to know how, because if they people can get wanted one. to get one yeah and one lady was like my husband is like seven feet tall and every time you know we want to have a movie night he can't fit into the blankets could you make him one she was like yeah Good it'll deal. cost a little more sure. but i can make it boom orders already done yeah because she had an idea right and she knew she loved to do it mm-hmm. and she was like all right well let me put it out there and see what happens she definitely took that first step And sometimes that's all it takes. And just because you take your first step and that first go round, you don't get a response. Do it again and do it again. Yeah. Because you you don't fail by trying. Right. You fail by never trying. Never trying. Exactly. You have to get out there and do it. Right. But on to some like bright moments. Music. There was some pretty good music released this year. There was some dope music from like the fact that N.E.R.D. came back. Let me tell Honey. you, <laughs> that album is fire. I was waiting for an NERD album for the longest. And I had, it's funny because before Lemon dropped, before the single dropped, I, I had said like months before to Tony, I was like, NERD needs to come out with a CD. Right. And he kind of, he kind of thought it's not the moment. Like it's kind of not the time. I said, yeah, I think it is the time. No, it's though. the perfect it's time. It's the perfect time. And that goddamn lemon with Rihanna on it. And Rihanna sounds so dope on that she song. She truly does. She sounds like she's from Bay or it somewhere. It was perfect. It was great. It was great. Did you see the video? I did. And it was yeah. a great song to start with. Yeah. To kind of remind people, like, we we brought you We're this. We're dope. Yeah. Like, don't forget about <laughs> our us. Beats, we brought you our, this. Our, Absolutely. Yeah, it, was, it was dope. Yeah, that one was definitely a good one. Um, I'm happy for SZA, even though I miss the old her. I'm happy I for her. And that she was able to... Become known right. by this album. It was a smart move on her part. It was very smart. She decided to play chess and stop playing checkers. <laughs> I just hope she doesn't lose who she was the when we found her. Yeah, she she definitely had a, that vibe that I liked. That That's what drew me into her from the beginning. And yeah, this one was a little more commercial, but I guess mm-hmm. you had to be, especially when you're when you're on TDE and you're dealing with people like Schoolboy Hugh and Kendrick Lamar who are blowing up. Yep, um, tough. You kind of have to like put yourself out there, and that's what she said. She said she always uh, talked about relationships, but almost in a metaphoric way, and not everybody can albums. handle it. Right, right. So like you know, you can't really relate too much if you don't really know what you're listening to. So she's like, I had to be a little more open and just like fully. Talk about what I'm. We can call it spade a spade. She had to dumb it down. She had to so dumb people it down. understand what I'm she was talking, talking about, about. A man who has another girl. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? like, like she had to dumb it down, yeah. which I'm I'm proud of her because I still jammed to the CD. It was still a dope, well put together, well thought oh, out yeah. album. Um, but yeah, congrats to her on all her success. But uh, mm-hmm. my girl Cardi B. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says about Cardi. The girl came out and she did her thing. She's the... She let love and hip hop truly work for her. Uh, yes. She did yes. not like just stay. And she not even on this current season. I didn't even peep that she out. She said, uh-uh. I just needed this little platform. Sure. She said she got her teeth fixed and she own it. <laughs> I love I love her hustle. There's a lot of people saying crazy stuff about her. I respect her hustle. A woman yeah. with hustle like hers gets all the respect. Yeah, for me. I don't. I don't have a problem with Cardi B. I, I just. I haven't listened to her stuff. Um, That's just my inner ratchet. You know me. I yeah, still I got know, it deep down I, inside. I, Kodak Black is one of <laughs> one of the best songs of the year, I think. But like, yeah, yeah, I haven't listened to it. But yeah, I, I definitely respect what she did. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, she did it. She definitely did her thing. Um, and I, I see that she's making Nikki try to like rise from the dead. Yeah, she like made Nikki feel some kind of way. So Nikki's like, hold on. Wait a second. And you know, I feel like she she did that unintentionally. Like she didn't. She did. Go she just was doing it, her. But like it, it's obviously hitting a nerve because it mm-hmm. stirred her back up. Yeah. Even to the point where they hopped on. Um, 
What's that damn song with uh, Migos? I, Migos. I just, I just call it the Migos song. Yeah, that yeah, song. The Migos song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, it, it, I don't know. I don't know. And then if you compare the two, I feel like it was different. They're definitely different. On that track. Because like, Cardi has always sound the way that she sounds. Yeah. Nikki changed. Yes. Like, I was listening to Itty Bitty Piggy the other day. Uh-huh. And I'm like, dude. Where is this Nikki at? Gone. That was my, oh my God. That's how God. I feel about Lil Wayne. Cause like, that too. That, I, we used to get so excited for his mixtapes. We and then when so we would excited. hear little snippets of Nikki on the tracks, oh, she was so tight. But then like she started like, I don't know, conforming, I guess. And she never came back. It wasn't the same. She just went far out. Yeah, way too far. Way too far. How she, do you feel about Drake's album this year? Drake's? Yeah. What was that? The More Life? Yeah. Uh, I didn't like it as much as I liked Views. I really liked Views. More Life had maybe two tracks I didn't like that it I at liked. all. I like the one that he he. Um, I gave it a second try yesterday, and I still don't like it. If you he he did the uh, J Lo song. If you have my yep, love, yep. Okay, like that, that one song. was decent. That, that I can buy too, cool. but I could never just put that on and just let it play. Other than that, I no. can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, but right. I could do it with Kendrick Lamar's album. Of course, Dan was like one that of my guy, favorite albums. This that year. guy did. What was your favorite song on the album? Oh shit! Mine is Element. I have to say, Element. I like Element. DNA still gets me pumped up. DNA, Every yes. Single time that's I a hear good it. one for sure. Um, but I mean, Humble was just dope all around. I just course. hate that the radio played it, played so, it much, so much, and then I got over it. Right, 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 right. But that's Nemo's song. Is <laughs> Nemo likes Humble? <laughs> Love it. Um, Kendrick had a good year. I definitely he had a good year. He had he a really good sure. year. I'm I'm excited to um to listen to more Kendrick. Always. And then Hove had a great album. Yeah, the great, great album. He just dropped Family Feud visual, but I haven't seen it because it's on title <laughs> and I don't have title. Oh, I do. We can pull it up before I leave here. Yes, we can let's pull watch it up. That. Okay, dope. But um, it's on there, and uh, Ava directed it. The director of um. What of Queen she, Sugar? Yes. Got yes. it. So it must be dope. And this was her first video that she directed. So nice. Shouts out to her. I love she her. She is And she's a, beautiful. She's dope. Yeah. She's definitely dope. She's awesome. There's a lot of people in that video. A lot of famous people. That's what's up. Because Queen Sugar, y'all know that's my show. I haven't seen it yet. <sighs> Lex. I, I haven't been watching any TV. But you, you just have to see. If you don't do it for nobody else, you got to do it for Ralph Angel. <laughs> Okay. You have to watch it for Ralph Angel. I don't know who that is, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> his real name is Kofi something. Uh-huh. But yes, Ralph Angel is his name on the show. Okay. So every woman who who knows, who watches the show, they uh-huh. call him Ralph Angel. Don't nobody call him by his real name. Oh, god, That's Ralph Angel. Oh, man. He's <laughs> That's a character his name. Then, huh? No, he's, he's very handsome. But no, the show is very well put together. That's definitely one of my favorite shows. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Definitely Ava. Shout out to you. She's dope. She's doing her thing. Yeah. Um, Janae Aiko's trip. Did you listen to that? I did. Um, How do you feel about it? It was it was hit and miss. It was really dark, and I'm not in a dark place. That's right how now. I feel. Uh, so it was really hard for me to like really vibe into it. It was a really dark album. You know what it was? It's 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 all the drug talk. Yep. And 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 she's using it to suppress pain, so that's why you probably didn't connect. Mm-mm, I didn't at all because I don't it. do that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Exactly. I don't trip. I mean, I trip, it but I don't trip off like with that. Like a so. couple of cute, like her normal lovey dubby mm-hmm. songs, like while we're young and things like that. And then it just goes into a far place, and even the skit where she starts screaming because she's so like. Exactly, on and I'm like, I can't listen to because Gianni loves her. Yeah, I said, uh, uh-uh, baby, we ain't listening to this album, <laughs> no, ma'am. And then she has a song with her daughter at the end, like she always does. That one's dope. That one's cute. Nemo yeah. always likes those songs where he can hear a little kid. Where on he it. can hear a That's little kid. Amazing. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> That's the main. It was. Sure. I mean, it had some good songs, uh-huh. but I just couldn't vibe out to the whole album like I used to be able to with her stuff. Like with her last, her last one album. was good. Yeah, that was a good. This one, one it was. I mean, she's still her. She's going through whatever she's going through. Yeah. And she's telling her story. Uh-huh. I just can't wait for her happy times. Mm-hmm. Or even some dark, but add a little light I in there. I think she's, she, I mean, I don't, I don't know her life, but supposedly she's like a for real, like, druggie. Like, this is like her like lifestyle. Like Amy Winehouse, because Amy Winehouse used to sing about her drug life yeah. metaphorically in her music. Right. So, like, supposedly this is her lifestyle, but I mean... 
I mean, I don't judge. I mean, it is what Teach it is. Teach their own. I it just seems hope like that more it psychedelic stuff, but even that shit, it really trips Because she out. is a true hippie. Yeah. She's definitely, she's a true hippie. Right. But it can also take you to a place where you can't get back up from. So I just hope she doesn't get that dark. Marijuana. Just right. Marijuana. Just smoke weed. <laughs> I mean, if there are children listening on our Facebook, <laughs> do not say no to drugs. Wait. It's legal. Dare to be different. Okay. <laughs> Legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about movies this year? I would say mine just has to be Girls Trip. The movie was just absolutely dope. I haven't seen dope. it. I haven't seen it. I, yeah. Honestly, I can't even recall what movies I've seen this year other than Thor. I think you were pregnant when Girls Trip came out. It might have been it. You so were. I wasn't sit in the movie Yeah, theater. you were happening. like real pregnant, like almost do pregnant when Girls Trip came out. That makes sense. Because it came out in the summer. That makes sense. I can't even remember the movies that came out this year. What else came out? I didn't go to the movies much. What else did I see this year? I guess that's really I guess bothering Star me. Star Wars just came out. Yeah, I'm I've cool never seen. One I've never Star watched War- the Star Wars. Yeah, nope. okay. Thank never. you. Thank you. You're not the only one. Okay. I am not a. What do they call them? Trek. No, nope, that's Star no, that's Trek. Star Trek. Um, what do they call the Star Wars people? I don't know, but I don't I've never it. seen one. That's how you know. I don't know. I don't know. I yeah, don't watch I don't know it either. And I felt really bad because I guess this is a movie that at least you should see, but like I've never seen that one. I haven't, and I, I don't want Star to. Trek either. I don't feel left out. I don't. I don't feel like I'm missing I, anything. I know people who have gone to see it already twice. Oh, jeez. Like, paid for it twice. I've seen Girls Trip twice. <laughs> but not, not Star Wars. No. Nope. I, I saw My Little Pony. Oh, well, boom. There you go. There you go. And it was so cute. I like My <laughs> Little Pony. had a great time. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. But I'm really, like, tr- what else came out? I'm really troubled. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen, like um, Marshall. I haven't got to see that yet because life yeah, has no. been so busy. So I'm just waiting for it to come to where I can order it. Sure. At home. I haven't um, seen that either yet. What's that Denzel movie that came out? Oh, fuck. I can't even think. But I heard it got great reviews, but I have not know? had time to go so. to the movies. So I'm just really waiting for everything to come to where I can order You're like, it I on need TV. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need time to watch. I haven't even watched All Eyes on Me. I've I have seen part. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I haven't seen the whole Ever thing. Ever since I found out that his mom didn't okay the movie. Oh, that's I was fucked. feeling some kind of way. I didn't know that. And they didn't even release the movie until after she passed. You know what? I think they so passed just... it and they did it too fast. Like, even though it's been a long time coming, I think the process in making it was too fast. Well, the fact that they it's said Tupac fucking... had a phone like you in the uh, iPhone in the movie. Yeah. How? How? That doesn't make sense. And it's like there's lots of old school movies that you can find an old phone. Oh, yeah. Why did you get his man an iPhone? A fucking pager. He had a big phone like you and me. Did he have Oh, he did. He, he did. did. He sure that did. That snippet I saw. And I'm like, but wait a second. That wasn't in today's time. But yeah, I haven't rushed to see it. That doesn't put you back in time. My mom said it was a good movie, though. She said the parts that they did cover was really good. She said um, Eyes on Me wasn't anything special. Yeah. Yeah, see. that's what I'm hearing. But see, like, I think... With like uh, NWA, making and that movie was so set, dope. Oh yeah, they set the bar so Way up high. high yep. Like you have to get there to be. And any I good. feel like they should have did that for a Tupac movie. Like that's not something Absolutely. you play with or mess around this with. Like that movie legit, should have been epic. This guy was a legit poet who knew both sides of the coin. Right. Even though he lived such a crazy life, he knew the beauty that. That was on the other side. Like, and he was so smart. So smart. And so influential. Right. He could have definitely went far. Yeah. I'm still one of them weird people that's like waiting that for him to say, sad. surprise, I'm not dead. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yep, I'm one of those. Because even Biggie's movie was great. Yeah. And the characters they found to play. Oh, the and girl ca- who played Faith it was, was perfect. ridiculous. The dude I who played her. Biggie was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, he was perfect. And you, did you know that he was a security guard who just happened to go audition and got it. Well, I'm so happy he Never did because he did my man's like, justice. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. But I'm real sad that the All Eyes on Me wasn't as epic as it should have been. Yeah. I'm sad about that too. Well, I'm just happy they title. didn't let Wendy Williams do it because oh, that would have been horrible. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Not even about Wendy. Shots fired. My Ooh. bad. She's terrible. <laughs> Poor Wendy. I know. Did you see her fallout? Yes, man. <laughs> I thought it was a prank. Because the way her fo- her face was. And I didn't mean no harm mm-hmm. when I laughed at the video. But I guess it really, like, was real life. Like, she really... 
like had she a really moment. fainted. Yeah, on camera. Yeah, wasn't it during taping? Right, it was during taping. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't. I, I'm sorry. Well, look at her body. She's been dwindling down, and she has these big ass breasts, fake breasts. Like her body is just some. Aug- Did you see those pictures of her on the beach? Mm-hmm. It's just awkward. <laughs> it's so that's just awkward. a bit too much. Oh now we ended the year also with um. Miss Chloe Kardashian being pregnant, being pregnant. Yeah, her maternity pictures are gorgeous. They're so cute. I'm not a big Kardashian follower, but uh-huh. she's a sister I liked. I like her too. I just actually like Chloe. Do you think that Kendall is pregnant? I don't know. See, I don't know the little ones like that. She's the one that was is with she Tyga, the, and she was oh the, the one wild was, one. Yeah, with the okay, big lips with the and, fake big lips. Yes, because they were so skinny and when the I first used that to came watch out it. Of nowhere. It all came. The lips came out of nowhere. She did not have lips when she was a younger girl. No, she had nothing. She had None no of lips. <laughs> None of this. So she's fake all around and she's only like 18. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, because she's been gone and they, they said she was pregnant. So she hasn't posted any pictures and she posts every day. That might be the reason why. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. And if she did, it's with Travis Scott. And he's not the cutest guy. <laughs> well, hope then her real genes aren't that great either. So the person she's made herself to be is cute, but yeah. her real skinny lip self, yeah, yeah, because she would have been the odd one. Because Kendall is beautiful and mm-hmm. she's kept her little. Skinny she's self. so different, yeah, from the rest of them. She mm-hmm. truly said, "Y'all stay here. I'm gonna go over here." And so, yeah, shouts out to her, yeah, for getting out of that mess. Yeah, she's tight. But, and have um, you seen Kanye's pictures lately? No, why? He's big. Oh, I seen. He's yeah, okay. so big. All right, I seen one picture of him walking outside. What do the or Kardashians do to these men? Like, oh, I'm no. truly trying to understand. Oh. Kanye, he's always already been out there. Yeah, but now he's really out there, and then he just like got really, really big. He looks like a stay-at-home dad. That's not cool. That's what because he looked the like. Girls in the picture. try to keep an image up. So like, and why he looks like men... he stays at home with all the kids. <laughs> he looks stressed out in that picture. He had on like um, the full little sweatsuit yeah. outfit. The cotton though, not the swish. The cotton Stop sweatsuit. It. Stop and it then right he now. had like this gray shirt on. One of his shirts though with all with the holes, holes and shit in it. Yeah. Why Why was that such a big thing? With some grocery bags in his hand. Stop it right now. When does Kanye go to the grocery store? Oh. Who made this man go to the grocery store? Kim. <laughs> man, she must got some magic. I guess so. Because these poor men, Lord poor, poor mercy. men, poor Lamar. Lamar, that's the saddest one in my opinion. It is. Scott's oh. just a drunk. But yeah, he was already weird. He was already a strange one. Yeah, I don't know. Humphrey said, the hell with y'all. Bye. I'm about to get away from <laughs> I guess. Here. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Everybody talks shit about him, but honestly, why? He was smart. He was like, nah. He was like, yeah, I'm no, not this ain't gonna this. happen. Because I remember that one episode where Chloe was like, do you not like being married? And he was just like... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say anything. He just looked at her. Like, nah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not this. even going to answer this question. Right. That's so, what crazy. are some things you hope to accomplish in 2018? Um, or okay. even even if it's starting something, what, I was gonna just, say, what do you plan to accomplish? I was going to say it's very cliche, but I definitely want to get a hold of my health. But it's you not and even me both while I'm sitting here eating cheese fries. <laughs> it's not even just, <laughs> and it's you know what? It's not even just like saying I'm gonna stop eating this or I'm going to start working out. It's like everything. A whole lifestyle. A whole lifestyle. You know what I mean? Where I feel great about my skin Mm -hmm. because I still get these breakouts on my chin and I know it has a lot to do with what we eat. What we eat. Not drinking enough water. All of it. Stress. All of it. So it's like I want to get a balance with that. And then I want to, you know, I want to get more hands on with, our show and um, with our company just in general. Like, you know what I mean? I know that we all have our separate right. shows, but like if we can all somehow um, come together sometimes for these different shows and put and highlight them together, mm-hmm. they'll boost up even Yeah, more. for sure. Like we for can sure. get more eyes on what we're trying to do. And um, I, I, I don't know what it is. For bringing people in, Not, I don't have anybody in mind right now, but I'm just saying, like, in general, like, becoming bigger and, you know, opening the doors for people. And I, I want to write more and I want to just be more in a creative bubble. 
I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah, it's time for you to get back into your bubble. I, I really want to get into that space. It and was popped, but I blew you a whole new one. You did. <laughs> and it's huge. <laughs> right, because cause it's like what you said on our last show when we're like, you know, uh, well, not our last show, but I think it was the one before with Casey, where it's like, you want to do more, but I was taking a time to be a mom, like mm-hmm. a brand new mom again after seven years and do that whole thing. And it's like, you know, let's get the engine going and let's let's get back into that creative space. Because, yeah, I, that's what I'm all about. That's what I want to do. You will, for sure. Yeah. You're going to get there. Thanks, boo. You're you're surrounded by people that are, are go-getting. It. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Even Surround yourself with it. Yeah. Even with Tony being around. He is yeah. a go-getter. He's going. He's doing his thing. He's and he's an artist as well. Mm-hmm. So he's in that creative bubble. So yeah. you're definitely surrounded by the right people. Yeah, absolutely. Motiv- I get motivation from you guys left and right. So it just makes me appreciate the moments, mm-hmm. even the quiet moments where I get to think about it and, you know, just say, all right, you know, I, I got my force behind me. And when I'm when I go, I go. You know what I mean? So for looking sure. Forward to that. How about Nothing you? like having people around you that push you to do better. Yeah. That is one thing that. I know we already talked about 2017, but that is one thing that I do believe I gained this year. Yeah. Was a great core support system. Mm -hmm. Like, my husband always supports me. That's a given. My mom always supports me. That's a given. You always support me. That's a given. You and Precious, y'all always there. Yeah. But building that relationship I now have with Casey, Mm -hmm. the girl's a true hustler. Yeah. She just has it in her. She just wakes up full of hustle. (laughs) So to be around someone like that and then all of the amazing women that I'm meeting, Mm -hmm. like, guys, don't feel left out. But right now, my calling is to To empower my women. Sure. Because there are so many women just sitting on gifts. So yeah. I want to help them birth these gifts because the world needs them, especially in this crazy day and time. This has been a great year for women empowerment. It has been. I've been seeing it more so now than I've ever seen it in my life. Because it's, like. it's, it's time. It's time. It's definitely time. Especially since Donald Trump has went into office. Okay. And then we had the, the marches around. You know, mm-hmm. just, oh exactly. Gosh, it's been great. I love it. But my women, just know I love you. But 2018... Um, I definitely want my truth is to be birth. Yeah. That is one of the biggest things I'm working on. Yeah. Um, y'all just remember truth is when you see it, just remember. Um, but yeah, it's, that's going to be something I work on. Um, I want to, I guess more so become a brand. Yeah. I want to be more than just a person. Mm-hmm. I want to be a brand. Mm-hmm. I've been through a lot in my life. Mm-hmm. So to be the woman that I am and I am becoming, mm-hmm. I need people to know that it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter what nuisance <laughs> you did yeah. back when you were younger in learning life. Like, who has a clean slate? No, yeah, nobody. And everybody's like, well, Whitney, when you become famous, what if this gets leaked? I'm going to address it. Talk about it, laugh about it, and keep it pushing. That's I hilarious. am not hiding from anything. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, I'm not hiding from any of it. When they're like, well, well, Whitney, did you experiment with? I sure did. And it was Who a great said all of it this? was a great time. We were talking about it at work. Okay, and they were really right. they were interviewing me like as if I was, you know, yeah, already yeah, famous. Yeah. And they yeah. were asking me these questions. And we had a good time. Yeah. But sure. that just brought me to think, like, I am going to be interviewed one day and yeah. I'm gonna be famous. Uh, it's going to be globally. It's not going to be just in the U.S. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to run away from my past. And that's what I want my whole brand to be. Like, my past made me who I am. Yeah. I experienced so much. And I got to have so much fun doing it. I don't care. I had fun. That's everybody. I had a that's great life. everybody. So you I don't regret I mean? any of it. But yeah, yeah 2018, brand building, women empowering, um... Taking this show far, taking Pillow Talk far, anything I have my hands in, I want to make sure that I'm giving it all my all. Like, everything gets a good amount of me. Mm. I don't know how I'm going to have that much in me, but I I do believe (laughs) that the Most High will grant me the strength and I'll be able to give all that I can to everything that I'm involved in. Sure. Sure. And I want to also um, spend a little bit more family time. Yeah. Because you guys know my schedule was horrible yeah this year plan a vacation or something yes three. three one with just me and my husband yeah one with our family yeah and one with my girls that's dope so those are my three i'm there so it looks like i have three then because i had already <laughs> had two in mind you but, got three too but i got three yeah that's cool 
Well, I'm excited, you guys. I hope you're all excited about what Like Water for Chocolate is going to bring. We really just wanted to have this episode as a recap, just so you guys can kind of have an insight of us. We went live the whole episode because for those of you that that, we've never done that. Yeah. For those of you who don't know us but want to know us or didn't even know we had a podcast, now you do. Please make sure you tune in. We're going to be on iTunes, iHeart, Spreaker, YouTube. YouTube. Follow, as you can see, Beat Network. Online.com. Yes, and make also, it happen. And also, I just wanted to say, too, if if people want to reach out to us, because we do, we reach out to people. We do. And, you know, we try to bring them on and we try to, like, you know, share what your ideas and, you know, all that. But if, if you see what's going on here and you need that spark of motivation and you want to like you know get in our ear i mean yeah uh, let inbox us, know. us. Let don't us know. don't inbox us that hey big head but um, <laughs> <laughs> we're always down to talk business though so right our encouragement or whatever if whatever. you got something going here in las vegas we're big on local support yeah. if you got something going here in las vegas let you us know talk about it you want to get absolutely the mic, let us know we're, we're, we're all we'll for supporting yeah absolutely But other than Beat Network, make sure y'all also stay tuned. Pillow Talk will be returning season two. It's a little naughty. So if you got kids, they can't listen to that. But um, (laughs) also the noise. Make sure that you guys follow the noise as well. Don't they have an Instagram page now? Woo-hoo. They have an Instagram page. They got an page. Instagram page we got now. An Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> there's also Back to the Classics yep. with Jay Alonzo. And mm-hmm. then there's also um, Reality. Reality. Yeah, mm-hmm. there we go. We so those are all, here. we're getting big out here, you yeah, guys. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so that's why we're trying to bring you in now because don't like us when we get way up there. Y'all got to be with us now. Say I was with them when they were recording they... in a small little studio. Right. I don't know. Some of y'all been with us since the one mic days. Oh, the one, one mic. mic's at the coffee table. All I need is one mic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been real, you guys. Those of you who tuned in with us live, thank you so much. Yeah. Those of you who are going to be listening later, thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. And just look forward to great things this season. Yep. We'll be sharing. You'll see us. Absolutely. We'll be doing some big, big things, but we'll keep you guys all in the loop. Absolutely. All right. So until next time, you guys, it's your girl, Truth. Lex Love. Peace and blessings. Bye.